What's going on, guys? We are back. This is episode two of Sprung, following Brett's story. Um, just to address something really quickly, uh, somebody in my friends list asked me exactly what this game was. They had no idea um, about this game. They said that it looks like a game that was made recently, and my simple answer to that is no, it does not look like any game that was made recently. And the reason why is because every new game that comes out that tries to follow some type of formula like this has been completely destroyed with political correct nonsense, right? It, I would be hard pressed to find a game where it was raunchy and just, I don't know, organic. It wasn't like shit wasn't all forced and everybody should be love is love bullshit. If you guys don't know what that means, that's all good and gravy. Anyway. So no, it's not like any game. This game was made, I believe, in 2006. This was a long time ago, bro. No, absolutely not. This game would not exist in this day and age. It would get, literally, it would get restricted if there wasn't like black characters or gay characters or bi characters and all that other nonsense. Let's get right into it. And also, there's nothing wrong with anybody that's like that. If that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do. But a game like this wouldn't exist in this time. The locker room. Your best boys, Lucas and Danny, want to help fill your void of a dating life. Objective. Equip yourself with either severe babe hunting or one-on-one -on -one romancing. You have one more week with your best friends, Danny and Lucas, before the season is over here at Snowbird Mountain. Danny, the large geek and wannabe stand-up, and Lucas, the large snowblower and wannabe ski champ. They're going to try to convince you how to deal with your lack of dating situation. Decide which dating force you wish to align yourself with and equip yourself accordingly. Guys, what do you think if I ask Becky Sky out? Out? Like on a date? Dude, you're so sprung. It's pathetic. You couldn't ask a belly button out. You know what's fucked up, bro? Is that you actually do have friends that will dead ass throw you under the bus like that. Like, I had a friend a while back that I realized this motherfucker never took my side. Like, he legit, like, he, I, I can't, it was like a, I don't even know if it was like, if we were even friends when you really think about it. It was like more or less a, we tolerated or he tolerated me and it was a rivalry and I, I guess I never really looked at it that way like if I or if older me was able to see it then I'd have been like hell no I, this is not the relationship we have bro like this is not it this ain't it but yeah the motherfucker would never take my side in fact if there was ever a situation in which I get myself into some type of confrontation he would dead ass pick the other side and not on some he wanted to see me get hurt type shit but just like just for the sake of stirring chaos and anarchy, I guess. That's how he was. And yes, boys really do be like this towards each other. Shut your pie hole, poser. How these belly buttons always made me feel kind of strange on the inside. You really think that? You really think that? No, how these belly buttons always made me feel kind of strange on the inside. Hey, and now he is a, perf a perfectly viable belly button option in this day and age. Yes, dude. We all know you have an Audi, Brett. I think Becky would be lucky to go out with you. Becky is smart, beautiful, funny. She can have any guy she wants. Becky doesn't think like that. That's why she's special. I got just a thing that'll make her swoon. Oh, give it to me. Look at his face. <laughs> Look at Brett's face. He's like, the fuck? Becky is just so down to earth. What if Becky thinks of me as just a friend? What's so bad about that? Just Friends is highly underrated for guys. Yeah, and you have guys that's like that. I like fucking Danny. Just, they are content with being close to the girl even in the friend zone. Like, they, no ambition ass mofos. Like, it's crazy. Just Friends. Dude, Just Friends blows ass. Your ass. My ass. Everyone's ass. 2006, baby. Messiers. The, the fall of the greatest shares, I would say. Lucas is right. I'd be happy with being just friends with the funniest, smartest, most beautiful woman. I get the fuck out of here. I'd be happy just being friends with the funniest, smartest, most beautiful woman I know. Nah, brody, not here. Lucas is right. If you spill that you got Mona, if you spill that you got Mona Wood for her, she doesn't have the same for you. Wait, what? Oh no. 
if you spell that you have more than wood for her and she doesn't have the same for you, you're gonna have you're gonna look like an idiot. But she'll never know if you don't ask her in the first place. Mm. They both spitting facts, like both of them. Good point. I just don't want to look like a jerk. Good point. And if there's a problem, then you'll know why. Yeah. A lot of times, bro, and I mean, listen, I, I, I can say it, but like, real talk, I I never was one of those guys who would just go out there and go talk to women. Like, that was never my thing. And I've had my fair share of just bagging women without really, without spitting game or anything like this, just being myself. You know what I'm saying? But you have some guys and they just, either they just, they, they have the confidence and you got to build that shit up. You just... What's the worst that could happen besides the girl just saying no? The girl laughing at you, saying no, pointing her fingers at you, her friends are laughing at you, all of her friends are laughing at you, their friends are laughing at you, the school now knows you're a loser. You grow old, you realize that women never liked you, you end up becoming an incel. <laughs> actually, that actually is a possibility. Goddamn. Brett, I say go for her. It's just like in all those movies. The rich, good-looking guys with the cool cars never get the girl. We're too young to be just tied down to one chick. We got one week left at the lodge. That's a seven-day babe fest, and I procured the perfectly scented aphrodisiac that will drop the ladies loco. Right, uh, Lucas is uh, Spanish. Slightly or some shit, I guess. Yeah, no, I don't think I'd be so into that. Well, give it to me. Yeah, no. I don't think I'd be so into that. So the cool thing about this game is that even though, right, even though you are playing the role of Becky and also Brett, there is a background with these characters, right? They do have their own personalities that even if you're not controlling them, you kind of can tell. For example, Becky is prone to violence. She, she's just a woman. She's just violent. And trust me, when we play Becky's story, Becky's just violent, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, my ultimate goal was to make everybody not like Becky. In a sense, to just make Becky, Becky seem like some type of monster. Because Becky, just like Becky's violent, bro. Brett, on the other hand, he's a joker. Um, but at the same time, like, he's a very, like, Brett is the fucking, like, okay. Brett is the fucking man, right? And even the man has somebody that he doesn't have confidence going up to like Becky, right? And it's the reason why he's in the situation that he's in now. Yeah, no. Oh shit, the music changed. Yeah, no. I don't think I'd be so into that. Quality, not quantity. It's easier to treat herpes than a broken heart. God damn! Fucking Lucas with the facts. And also ill. I think I'm with Luke Danny on this one. Whatever. I leave you two to massage each other's butts. Lucas, tell me, what's wrong with a man admitting that he's in love? Dude, shouldn't you be writing some comic monologue about the last time you got dumped? Guys, knock it off. You, you big meanie. I don't even know how to begin thinking about responding to that. Uh, enough. Both of you are morons. Enough. I'm gonna play the field. Enough. I'm gonna ask Becky Sky out. Maybe. See? So even, even, even though, right, you're playing the role of these characters, they're, they still have their own character, right? Like, they still are their own person. Maybe. Fine. I left some stuff on the couch for you guys. There's a senior, a senior cheesecake in a Johnny Mitchell album. Don't let your tails get the desert soggy. You ever see the Defers, Devil Zephyr cologne? You better use it. Call me when you're done fixing the hem on your skirt. Later, gents. You ever see the cell phone, Lucas? Good call, Brett. Take this. Exactly. You saw how he just called them? He just called those two girls? He just called his friend's girls? You, like, understand. Right? You say that shit like three or four times in a game like this, now you got the, the social justice warriors all after you. Like, again, a game like this would not exist. Just like, uh, uh, God damn it, what was that? Leisure Suit Larry, the one that was on the Xbox back in the day? That wouldn't exist. The man show before that guy became politically correct. Those, that show wouldn't exist, right? Like, these things would not exist. 
Good call, Brett. Take this. You have received the rose. Buzz me, and I'll talk to you later. I got a blind date I'm meeting for breakfast. You have received the cell phone Danny's. A blind date for breakfast? Just because she can't see doesn't mean she doesn't eat. Jeez, Brett, don't be so close-minded. <laughs> Hit me up and I'll tell you all about it. Not quite sure how you got resolved. Wait, what? Not quite sure how you, how much you got resolved. Consulting with the peanut gallery. But one thing is certain. You're now officially late for work. Hey, Brett. Nice job on that level. Pretty much a breeze so far, huh? Enjoy it while you can. But take this. Always be prepared. You have received the pocket knife. Hey, I almost forgot to give you this. Safety first. You have received the pepper spray. Just in case you're walking around late at night, one of them bad parts. What? Just in case you're walking around late at night, one of them bad parts of Snowbird Mountain. Real quick, did you hear the one about the guy with five legs? His pants fit like a glove. No, not so much. Ah, whatever. Go ahead and take it. it might come in handy. You ever see the joke book? The one about the guy with the five legs. Get it and quit it, dude. <laughs> Don't give up on modern romance. Two ways to go. Which will you choose? Anyway, guys, I really hope that you guys are enjoying this, and I'm gonna complete it. I'm gonna complete this. I am going to do it this time. This is a promise. I'm gonna do it. Catch you guys next time.